Hi, my name is Alex. I am founder of Arapica, the app that helps you choose the right coffee. And today we are talking about reopening of the hair salons. No, kidding. Today we are talking about AI, the hype word that startups use to attract investors. However, it's not our case. I use AI to help my app to recognize products on the images. As you remember from episode two, we have two different ways to find a product in the app. The first one, let's go traditional one, is by using search. And the second one, let's go the modern, is using images. So basically when you take a picture and the app returns you the product. By the way, if you haven't watched episode two, shame on you. The link is gonna be down in the description and here in the left corner. With traditional way, it takes just a couple of clicks to add a new product and it immediately appears in the app. However, to recognize the product on the picture, we need to train our AI, Boris, to recognize it. All right, there are four steps involved in that process. First one is to get data. Second one is to prepare data. Third one is the train model. And the fourth one is to test the model. Sounds a bit tech savvy. And before we start, I'd like you to pause the video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. The launch of the app is closer and closer and we're gonna have a special giveaway uh, just before that. And now, let's go. So, step number one is to get data. Recently, I was lucky enough to have Back to Black Coffee on board, and today we're going to Amsterdam to get some data. Let's go. The process of taking pictures looks very, very time consuming. However, it takes around five minutes per product to get all the samples done. Another couple of hours I spent talking with uh, roastery owners because oh, they are magicians to me. I still remember my first talk with Maurice in Trapa Cafe and with Yele in Shokunin Coffee. By the way, we have a full interview with Yele on the channel. The link will be in the description and in the corner. And now when we have all the data, it's time to move to the step number two. Step number two, preparing data. Well, if getting images on the step one is time consuming but fun, step number two is pretty time consuming and boring. And this is why we're gonna put a bit of music and you'll see what's going on. Now, when we've done with this most boring part, let's move to the most interesting part. Training, the magic behind the black screen. Step number three, training the model. Training the model takes a lot of resources. And before I used Google Collab for that. However, I pretty quickly reached the, their limit and I couldn't buy a pro account because I'm not from the United States or Canada and I don't have sponsor, like a VPN sponsor yet. VPN sponsors. I'm here waiting for you. So we are going to use another more powerful Amazon instance. Finally, we have our new model ready and trained. And now 
let's test it. Step number four, testing. So now when we have the model trained, let's move it to Boris, relaunch him and see the result. So we're gonna test it with the packages that we have, plus a couple for images from the internet. And that's it. I know that the process takes a bit long time. However, as a startup, your main idea is to focus on delivering the product as fast as you can to the market. However, later I'm gonna automate and optimize the process that will make this procedure pretty, pretty fast. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Arapica everywhere. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Muchas gracias and hasta luego.